Hey, what's going on you guys? Ramni here. Before we begin the actual tutorial, just wanna let you guys know that this was a really tough tutorial to do because of all of the details on the face. So please don't ask me for a full body tutorial on Optimus Prime because you're not gonna get it. It's just way too hard and it would take forever. I swear it's gonna take about two hours to do, two or three hours to do the full body because this face alone took about 45, 30 to 45 minutes. So enjoy the tutorial. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to have another character from the Transformers franchise. So enjoy the video. Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and this is another episode of How to Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, books, and video games. If this is your first time here and you want to see more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to press that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime that I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. If you still find that this video is going way too fast, you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. So believe it or not, you guys, this is the third attempt at doing Optimus Prime. It is a rather complicated design. This is, of course, from the movie. So that's how it is. Let's get started by drawing a circle right here. And the reason why we're only doing um, his, his face is because it is, like I said, a really complicated design. And, it, you know, doing the full body would take forever for this. So I drew a circle. And what I did is... I'm sort of creating the center line and it's going to be right around here. So there's that right there. I'm going to extend this down a little bit and extend this down a little bit like this and just make a, a pointy chin right around here. Okay, so there we go. And of course we're going to add more into this as we continue, but uh, the basic shape for Optimus Prime is going to be this circle right here. Okay. Now let's figure out where the forehead is going to go and where the head is, where the face is going to go. So I think I'm going to go right here, find the center and angle it this way and this way. So that's going to separate. This is going to be the face and this is the forehead. And yeah, we'll worry about that a little bit later on. Let's go over here and here and just find that shape right there. And we do the same thing on this side. So find the exact same spot on this side. And we're going to go just like that, just like this right here to there. Okay. Now, trying to figure out how to properly place things. Let me zoom in as we do this. Let's figure out where the nose is going to be. And we're going to start right here. Two points coming out. And then we're going to draw kind of a, a straight line across like this. And then the nose comes to a point right around here. So there you go. I'm going to bring this center of the nose angle it somewhat like this because it does come out. Like it, it does stick out. So that's what that looks like. Okay. Here's the line for the mouth and then another line beneath that. Another line beneath that. So that's going to be the upper lip, lower lip, another line below it. That's going to be for the chin. I'm going to just create this shape right here. Not quite a rectangle. So that's what it looks like. Okay. So let's go back over here and let's focus on the eyes right around here. I'm going to draw a line going up curves to the left and we do the same thing on this side over here. And it kind of goes like this. So what we're doing right now is we're not adding the details. We're just breaking down the face so that it'll be easier for us to block all of the, um, the details later on. Okay. So there's that right here. I'm going to create a, a curve just like this. And you want this curve and this curve to be similar to each other like that. Okay. From here, 
it goes down a little bit right here, and then from here it sort of goes towards um, right here. So kind of imagine a cheekbone kind of starting from here. That's where we want it to go. And then it just goes down like this, and it sort of just rolls in like that. And imagine the same thing happening on this side. Actually, it's really hard to tell with the uh, reference photo, so we'll just leave it like this. Roll it down. Slight, slight angle right here, and then goes down here. And then you want to make sure that these are symmetrical with each other. So you want to keep that the same, as same as you can, okay? Now over here, we're going to find another curve right there. And we're going to bring this up. And this is going to be the ears, like the antenna that Optimus Prime has. It goes up about this far, and then it sort of angles like this. Okay? Now, it comes down on this side, right around okay, where we had it angled, right above it, it goes like this, and then down. From here, you go down to about here. And what you want to do is you want to create this other curve right here. And you want to try to complete that. And it looks like a, it's an oval, which is a circle that's seen at an angle. And you want to try to get that as best as you can right there. That's going to be, of course, the ear. From here, you go in like this and down. Draw another oval right here. You go across this way. From that oval, you go down and then angled this way all the way to here. So those are some of the basic shapes. I'm going to erase the bottom part now. Right here, it just goes straight down right around the part where we have uh, this line right here for the lips. Imagine this line kind of going across here to there from here. I'm going to curve up like this, okay, and then here, the line going this way, and then down, and then towards the chin, like that. And then same thing over here, bring it across, and then it goes above the circle, this little oval here, and it goes towards that point. Okay, let's go back over here, and imagine this going across, so you want the bottom of that circle to sort of align with this right here and the top of that circle to align over here as well. And then just make that. Of course, you're not going to draw the whole thing. We're just going to draw half of it. And then this goes angled slightly and then it goes up like this. Okay, same point as here. It angles slightly, just very, very slightly. So it looks like that and everything I forgot to mention everything that I'm doing right now is um, free form and loose very light with my fingers okay I'm just gonna bring that down for now and worry about this later on once I figure out the top of the head so let's go to the forehead from here and here this goes up right around there two diagonal lines going out and then this goes to here, like that. And this goes to here. Okay, I'm gonna erase this now, and we're gonna replace it with the caress that's at the top of his head. So let's uh, go back over here. I'm going to do this twice more. I'm gonna draw this right here. I'm not gonna continue it, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then goes up even more. So from here, I'm actually going to draw two diagonal lines going like this till you reach a point right here. And this point becomes the crest. So it goes out like this. And what it does, it actually goes above the head, kind of like a mohawk. And then it goes down to about this point. That's kind of the angle that we want right there. Okay, now let me go over here, right around here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this this way and then down. Okay, imagine a center going down the Mohawk right around here. All right, and then from here, we go back out this way. 
So it looks like that. And there you go. So fix it up, make sure it's centered, make it look nice. This goes above and it goes like above this curve and it goes towards the antenna. And there's a lot more stuff over here. Let's focus on that later on. There's another antenna right here. And I kind of want this to be, here's the top. I want it to be right around here. So I actually want this one higher. I want this one a little bit lower. So here is good. Okay. They're practically the same height actually. So let me rephrase that. So there you go. There's the uh, Optimus Prime head. Before we continue, I'm just going to draw the neck um, right here. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to draw this part right here. And then the neck comes down this way, right around here, goes down this way. And right here, it goes down this way. I'm not going to draw. Actually, you know what? I will draw this. Goes like this and then down. Makes a makes this shape right here, like a trapezoid shape. But for the most part, that's how it looks. There you go. There you go. And then he's got these huge shoulder pads that go out this way and that way. Okay, so now we've kind of got the basics and we I'm going to grab another piece of uh, another pencil because we're going to get into the nitty gritty of the, the, the details of it. And there is a lot of details and I will be talking a lot. So please bear with me. It is tough. I mean, like I said, this was the third time uh, that I've done this. Okay, so let's start by starting over here. We're going to bring a line like that looks like a V it goes like this. I'm going to do it several times. One, two, three, right there. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to go to the point and I draw two lines going down until it makes a point right here at the tip of the nose. And then just beneath that is the actual tip of the nose. It makes this diamond shape right here. Okay, right here, more diamond shapes and rectangle, rectangle, and a bunch of just little line details like that. And here and here. Um, I do want to say that this is a simplified version because the, the super detailed version is really hard to explain and it will take a longer, much longer time. Okay, this goes across and I'm going to draw it twice. And this goes across and I will also draw that twice. Here's the top, like the brow. I'm going to draw two lines right there, two lines right here. Looks like that. Ends there and ends right there. Okay, that's beneath that. A line going across. And then a line like this. Now here's how I'm going to draw the eye. Okay, so I drew two lines like this. And then I draw the initial shape of the eye. It kind of looks like a diagonal line over here. And then right here is going to be two diagonal lines. So it looks like that. I'm going to draw kind of where the pupil is. So that's where it's going to be. It looks like that. Okay. So there's Optimus's one eye. I go on this side and I don't quite do the same just yet. Because right here, we're going to bring that up like that. And then kind of I'm going to create this like two I don't know what you call it. They look like arrows, I guess, or sideways triangles. From there, I draw a line going across. And I stop right around here. I'm going to draw a little line going like that. And then this just goes back like this. Okay. Um, right here. Actually, let me draw another line underneath that. So it kind of does this. So I draw one short little line and then one long line going up to there again, and then going to the side like this. Okay. Now I go back to this point and I start drawing in the eye. Goes down. And then it sort of makes its way up over here. And then right here is the side of the eye right there. And then here, I'm going to figure out where the people is going to be. That looks 
looks kind of good. I'm going to bring the eye lower so it kind of goes down past this line right here and I do the same thing on this side. Okay, I'm going to draw the pupil inside and then right here goes like that and then I create a whole bunch of like a, a spiral that looks like that behind or in, in the eye itself and then some more on the outer layer looking like that. Okay, so there's Optimus's eyes. I'm going to draw a line going this way and then goes down like that. Over here it goes across like this. And just a whole bunch of lines. And to be honest with you, if I had to tell you where all the lines go, it's going to take forever. There's a lot of lines. Okay, so there's that. From here, this point of the nose, I bring it that way. And same thing over here, I bring it this way. Okay, underneath the nose, it's going to create a little triangle like this. Give it a little bit of shadow. And draw a line down to the lips. So here we have the lips. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw two lines going down the lips there and there. But we're also going to draw this line right here. Okay, this goes angles up slightly. And then it goes down like that. Okay, this goes up slightly, up slightly, and then it goes down this way and this way. So it actually does look like lips, to be honest with you guys. Okay, here's the lower lip. It goes across, and it goes down, and it goes down over here. And right around here, it sort of creates a frown. And yes, it does look a little funny right now. But we will patch that up. We're going to add some stuff to it so it won't look too weird. Okay. Right there, two lines over here that look like that. And then over here, this goes up, this goes up. And then from here, diagonal around the nose goes to the cheeks. Okay, now we're going to draw two panels right here. Goes up, angles, and then goes back across. And then right here, this way across and goes back to the side and we did the same thing on this side of course right here goes this way up change direction and across here change direction and then it goes across like that I'm gonna draw a line right here and here and then here and here So let's draw the, the lines. There's one here, one here, and then right here, and here. And it just keeps going until you reach this point. And there. Shade that in. So here I am. I'm just trying to fix up the darker areas right here. And this goes this way, and this goes across. And then angles down right there. Same thing over here. Just goes like this and then down. Two lines going across right here. That goes like that. And this goes down and across. So always try to do the same thing on the other side as you go. And it would be, to be honest with you guys, it would be a lot better if we shaded this, but then if we do start shading it, it will add another, you know, 30 minutes to this tutorial and it's already pretty long. So, so that's what that looks like right there. Let's go back over here to the chin area. We're going to create this triangle shape here, here, and it sort of creates this two spikes going down like that. You round off those spikes and these go up like this and like this. Okay. So we create this. 3D looking shape that looks like that. There's going to be two piston looking things around it here and 
here. Okay, just like that. And I think they just go in like this. It's uh, kind of covered by a lot of shadow. So that's what that looks like right there. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go up here. Let's move on to the top of the head here. Okay, so from here, it's going to make sure that I get this curve the way that I want it. Goes up like this. So I doubled that line and kind of made them meet right here. Okay, we have these two points right here that are kind of just, they don't end. So we're going to end them right here and here. Let's go back to the nose and we're going to add two lines here and here, right on the bridge of the nose there. And then here, this goes this way and then up and it goes, this one goes this way and then up again. And then it goes across here and here, <coughs> excuse me. So that's what we got. Let's focus on this little diamond shape here. It actually consists of several of those diamond shapes. So there's the top, we'll leave it like that. This goes up and then down this way. There you go. And this kind of goes in like at the top here. And then we do another one right here. But this time around, we're going to make a diamond shape inside of that. Okay, and then it kind of goes inside again. Okay, here there's a rectangle shape. And then lines across over here, diagonal lines across on that side as well. I wish I could tell you these parts. I don't know the names to these parts, so I can't exactly tell you what they are. All right, so here's line going across. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line going like this, and it angles up, and then over to the side. And then the center line just goes down like that. And then up here on the side, it goes this way, and goes back, and goes up again. Okay, so that finishes this part of the face. I'm going to fix this right here. Kind of goes up. So this, this crest right here should match this crest right there. Okay. That's not all you guys. There's so much more to do. All right. So let's, um, let's just erase that. Let's erase this. And let's go over here and let's focus on, you know what, let's focus on the ear right here first before we do this. <laughs> okay, now let's go in this uh, oval right here. We're going to make another oval inside that oval, but it's going to be towards the left. So you're left with um, this, this shape right here. Okay, there's a bunch of other circles inside. So I'm just going to go like this. And another one inside and then this comes out this way angle like that okay let's go over here this goes from here goes out to there make sure that this and this and this and this and this are sort of within like the same curve so you want to make sure that you get that right okay so this goes like that and then it makes its way up and then from there, it goes up to here, right around just to this point. And I want this to go across this way. So let's continue. Let's go back over here and let's go to the top now. And from the top, I'm going to draw a line like this to that point. And then we're going to bring this up this way. And we're going to bring it up this way. And this goes across right here. And that goes down. And there you go. So that's a very simplified version of the the ear. I guess it's the ear antenna. Okay, I draw another line going straight up, angled up again, and then angled over here. And this just goes straight up like that. Okay. 
And there you go. Let's go over here. Now I guess we can start focusing on the cheeks. So we're gonna bring a line down from here. It curves right above this point and it goes down to there. Okay, let's go over here now. Okay, this little corner right here, what we're going to do is we're gonna draw a line going across like this, angled, and then this goes up. And right around the eyebrow line, I'm gonna create this little shape right here. And then I bring it up to there, and then it goes up from there. And then there's another line that goes like this. Okay, and now let's go on this side. This goes this way and across. And then from here, it sort of just goes up. There's a little panel right here. So right here, it goes diagonal with a line going down and a line going across. So this acts like a little panel. And then there's just a whole bunch of lines from here going to here. So I'm gonna draw one, two, and one more like this. Okay, from here, I go all the way around to there. And then we just break, break up these lines, just like that, like that, and some more like that. So that's a, I mean, as simplified as I can get it, I think. So that's good right there. Now let's go over here. I'm gonna draw two lines right there. Okay, now from here, this goes down to here to there, and then it goes to that corner. And it sort of looks like the exhaust ports of a car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle first. There's the middle. And then draw two more lines at the top and the bottom. And then I draw this line twice. And then I draw these lines. But I make a point once I reach this point right here. Okay. So that's what that looks like. And I think that's good for that for now. Let's go to this circle right here, oval. Another one inside. And a little line right there and then a rectangle in the middle. Okay, right here, goes like that, down. Um, actually, let's go back over here. What we're going to do is we're gonna bring this line going down a little bit more and going across right around here and then goes up and goes like that at the bottom. So here it goes across and it makes this little curve like this. And here just, there's a curve going like that. Okay, down here, there's a line going down and this way and then comes down the jaw like that. Okay, right here, this goes across all the way to that blue part. Right here, it's going to be divided. So I draw a line right here and then this completes this. Like that, finish that off, finish that off. I'm just gonna draw this little part right here. And there you go. So I think we're good over here on this side. I could add more details, but um, you know, we're just trying to get the basic look for Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime from uh, the last night. So that's what that looks like. We're almost, almost done. Now let's go back over here. Okay, I've got this antenna happening right there. And on this side, I draw two lines going across, kind of coming to a point once I reach here, once I reach this little point right there. So two lines going up and the, this one goes across and it there, okay? Now let's go over here. This goes, this line right here is equivalent to this, this little line. So that goes like this and then it goes down like that. Okay, I draw this twice middle line and then find the top and the bottom and then I do the same thing as here the exhaust port cheeks kind of look like that and it's always important to have a sharp pencil and I'm finding that mine's starting to get dull so just grab a new one there you go now right here goes like this and then it goes up change that slightly the shape of it and then this here snakes down to here with a cut. Oh, I'm sorry, I was off screen. Okay, so I just created this shape, which is this shape right here. 
line going across, I'll bring this down to the, this point with a line right here, a little cut line right there. Okay, and then I just finish this, another point here and across. Once you have that, you're good to go on this side of the cheek. Here's another circle or half circle right there. Okay, now over here, just above the eye, I'm gonna draw a line across. Okay, from that line, it angles this way. And I do that twice. And then this kind of goes up twice, all the way to the top. So all the way to the top of the ear. Make it go across, and then I bring it all the way down once again. Okay, once I reach this little tip right here, Here's an angled line and then a line going across, and then this goes down, and then goes back in. So there you go. Now just fix it up, and there we have the antenna for Optimus Prime. And once you have that, you guys, I think for the most part, we have it all down packed. It's just a matter of adding detail, adding shadows, and all of that stuff to make him more uh, realistic looking. But for the most part, this is the um, pencil rendition of Optimus Prime from Transformers The Last Night. And there you go. I know there's a lot. I said a lot, but I hope you guys uh, caught up with me and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial right here. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at Patreon patreon.com slash draw it to check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron next i have official draw it to merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts mugs and mouse pads and finally you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at draw .storeenvy.com. your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge if you guys did like this tutorial it would help me a great deal also if you liked this video commented below or shared this with your friends in social media and speaking of social media don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook Instagram Google Plus and on my website draw2.com where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel again you guys all of these links are down in the description below finally thank you once again for watching and as always stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video